Hello everyone and welcome back to more RBR2. Now, this is the floor I was mentioning. So I'm coming up to here. I'm pretty sure we're going to have some very unwelcome guests. Hopefully I'm wrong, but we'll see. Just being a little cautious. Yeah, I thought we couldn't get through it because of that door. Uh, avoid that for now. So, <laughs> this is the jewel that we need. And um, there's a special book we need to go in that arm to fit in there. So, we won't worry about that yet. Ooh, we can get the grenade launcher. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Art, the art article. The redstone. That could be a magazine. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince. The pearl that the Queen of the Nile, that the Queen of the Nile minked milk dry. The diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious redstone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those of other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noble a noblewoman's jeweled box, jeweled box, and was even dedicated to a wise king. So, hint that box we have. This, this fall, this stone's long, been shrouded. Sorry, this fall, this stone's this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. My dear. But, dear reader, one would be do well to approach with care, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula. And we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of, e of people everywhere. Fair enough. I was kind of hoping for a key. Not that I knew there was going to be one in here, but I was kind of hoping for a key. Now I have to get past this bastard, because... fine because I know where I'd like to use it. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to go the long way around. Oh well. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> Jesus. Go. Go. We don't need to come around back this side again. Okay, that's covered up, that's fine, go through here, can always dodge. Oh, <laughs> if I went the right way, wouldn't it? Alright then. We can't get up there because we need keys. Oh, hang on, can we? Hold on, I just want to double check something. Could we actually get into the library to begin with? I really don't remember. No, we do need a key. I had, uh, it's not an issue. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I actually forgot we even had that feature, to be honest, but never mind. It's not the. Alright, you come this way. I'm not going to get all the medallions until we've got everything searched out. So, I mean, it's a place where you can get one medallion, pretty obviously, but aside from that, I just want to be a little bit patient. Uh, double check, okay. <clears throat> so, the question I now, now have to put myself to myself is, where do I put the other board? 
Um, what I might do is I'll show you. It's going to be seem like a waste of it, but there's a reason I'm doing it. At I know there's a liquor there. It's all right. Just keep moving. All right. Just keep moving. We'll be fine. Unless something else happens. Touch wood. <laughs> okay. No, not there. Now, do I put it in one of two places? Actually, you know what? I might just put it in the other place. Here. <clears throat> because at least here... We can dodge. It's not the worst thing in the world. So it looks, so we got, yeah, we got everything in this room. We do have the locker key, so we'll do that before we do anything else. And you're up there, that's fine. No issue there. Go and grab ourselves a grenade launcher. I believe that's what this is anyway. Actually, let's, no, don't. I to move you. <clears throat> Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start structuring this a little better. Because that's how I did it the first time. I once I actually had some more, a bit more room. That's where I'm going to do this for now. Okay, so. Look room card. <clears throat> nice. GM-79, a grenade launcher. <laughs> Flame and acid rounds. Okay, very interesting. That to switch ammo type, no problem. Uh, no, didn't mean to do that way. Nope, whoops. Okay. <clears throat> Lovely. Uh, what I might do is... Until we get a better weapon... Um, let's just have a look at this for a second. Sorry, uh, oops, daisies. Yes, okay. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I'm not going to use this unless I, you know, unless I need to. Oh, actually, a bit of free reloader, that'd be a good start, wouldn't it? Okay. So, <clears throat> not one thing. I'll get that handle, then we can head up... Oh, do we head upstairs? Um, oh, that's a point. Do I bother heading upstairs yet? Hmm, that's interesting. <clears throat> Actually, because we can't get out of the library, there's not much point, is there? No, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking aloud because <clears throat> until we get a key, we can't actually go anywhere. So, what I might do is head to the top floor. Don't you move. That's it. Stay there. Thank you. Uh, is there anything we can drop off? There is. <clears throat> okay, that's good. I'm very, very glad about that. Um... Let's move this down. I'm, I'm, look, I'm keeping all those mixed ones because we don't know. We don't have enough healing sprays. Normally, I wouldn't bother using the multi ones. I'd use first aid sprays because we're not actually fighting any enemies yet, as far as I can tell, that require that sort of nature. <clears throat> Having said that, um. I must confess that, uh, let's have a look at something, we've got a couple don't we, we've got, we should have a couple of those high grades shouldn't we, yes we do. <clears throat> now as I recall, it's hand stand, 
Yeah, combined. Okay. <clears throat> Good God, this takes me way back to Resident Evil Zero. They kicked that back a hell of a punch, I promise you. But you have to use them sparingly. You really do. That's oh. Actually, no, it wasn't go go there, was it? No, I'm not cutting my own self. That really doesn't help, does it? You stay. I am not in the fact. I'm gonna move. I'm not sticking around. I could go that way, <clears throat> but I just now. <coughs> See, the second floor was to live was to. Uh, that was to the library, was it? There's also, because this way you go around, um, there is the star's office and the linen room. On the top floor, there was that room, and there also, because that's where the destination thing is. Okay. I don't know, because we can't actually get access through the library, there's not much point in going there. Like, we need to find a key, so... Well, at least one. What's this? <clears throat> Handgun, okay. Oh, there's actually one there! Oh, God, of course there is. Jesus Christ, of course there is. There had to be one somewhere at some point, didn't there? Okay, now... Let me double check that one. That's for the third floor, isn't it? <clears throat> That's DCM. Okay. Assume that is still the same as it was in Leon's. Then this would be DCM. <clears throat> Beautiful. What are we in this time? Machine gun ammo. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> what do we do? We get anything here? <clears throat> Finally! Oh, that is so good. <clears throat> that is so good. I cannot tell you. Actually, you know what we might do. <clears throat> I didn't like that sound. <laughs> I didn't. What I I'm being serious and I say this. What we're gonna do is now the reason why I'm gonna do this is there's a tyrant on the run. There's a tyrant on the move. Okay, that's a T series. In case anyone's curious, um, they're pretty much indestructible. <laughs> yeah. I pulled a method that you need rocket launchers. So, that's all I'm going to say on that subject. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be spoiling anything. Um, so, if you want to know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the last few episodes, uh, last few parts of Leon's story, and you'll understand what I'm referring to. <clears throat> but the reason why I want to use this key is because I want to unlock everything. Like, I actually want to go around and unlock the doors that we need the key for. Um, it may seem a little pointless at the time, but... <laughs> there's we definitely need it for the library we need it for the one for the wet the uh, the waiting room we need it for the uh oh my god now i'm going by memory here <coughs> excuse me we need that for the door through to the west office we need it we need it for a few places so that's why I don't mind. I know this may seem like a slightly boring part, but I want to be methodical. <clears throat> in these games, like even in Leon's one, I'm sure I showed you, you know, I, I re it does truly count to be methodical, as methodical as possible. Because now what I'll do is I'll go straight through this way, because <clears throat> I don't want to go around the long way. This was the one thing we couldn't do beforehand. <clears throat> But now we can. I'll leave you alone. Because we're going to unlock this door. If. The hell? Strange. 
Oh, the ones at the office. That's all right. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, because the, <clears throat> the reason why I also want to do is one of the biggest reasons is because if the tyrant comes after us, it's fairly quick. I want to have be able to escape. There's not much point in us having to double back and try and avoid getting punched, grabbed, or whatever by it. There's no point. It's not. It's. It's not strategic. It's not logistical. It's just ridiculous. This music's building up to something, and I don't like it. Oh, you! I forgot you were there. I honestly forgot she was there. Oh, he took her head off. Perfect. That's even better. <laughs> okay. Got the key for this door. Lovely. That's fine. Okay. No problem. Now, I think there's only one more door we need this for. I could be wrong there. <clears throat> there you are, buddy. Alright. Good luck with that. <laughs> yes. The library. Okay. Oh. <coughs> this is the book I was referring to. We need that for the arm. Can go back that way and we can get it that's what we need that for because then we can open up that get the jewel for the box which then unlocks it that is beautiful oh, I had a feeling about that a bad one too um do I what is this <laughs> oh, I know exactly where that goes. <laughs> um, but I don't think I'll do that yet. In fact, I won't. Or, um, actually, you know what? I will. Oh, I didn't want to be that side of him. The reason why I'm going to do this now... Can you sort of make up your mind, please? That's alright, I don't mind them coming down because the whole point of me doing this... <coughs> Look, if the tyrant comes through here following us... I really don't want to... I don't want... Oh god, now I've got lower in ammo. Okay, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here. Anything around here? Oh, I might ignore it. All right then. Whoops. All right, there's a very specific way I want to go about this. Because <clears throat> at least we can get up and down those rooms. Um. So, I'm going to, yeah, uh, let's go this way. That's fine, I'm not fussed. Oh, how did he not see us? How? Oh, not that I'm complaining, I'm just saying. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay. Right. So, I could go and do the book, but, eh, I don't know. <clears throat> the thing is, I kind of want to open this place up. A, a big serious thing I say, that I really just want to open this place up a bit. Um, excuse me, because then, 
There's not as much to think about. So uh, I might have to. I might just have to start not using ammo a bit. I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to be very, very conservative. <laughs> so you know what? I'm just gonna do it the old, the other way. Put this away. First in space. <laughs> Uh, do I go around that way? <clears throat> Actually, I might as well. So, at the moment, we don't need that. We do need to go upstairs. <clears throat> I've got a really horrible feeling about how we're going to actually come face to face with the tyrant, but you know what? We won't worry about that till it actually happens. And so, I just want to open this place up a bit. Because the library, I can just maneuver my way around a bit. You're kidding me. You're still alive? See how useful you are. Fuck. I'd say that's fairly absolute. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Okay. Anything? That's fine. Okay. Any more liquors to walk across? Nope. I'm quite glad about that, actually. Anything at the end here? There was last time. <coughs> to any survivors, consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate, unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they're skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but the hero more than makes up for that. As long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns are blazing, you should be able to slip right by them, probably. Well, I've already figured that, that's a true fact. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around him, yeah? <clears throat> as we have been. Sound advice. Now, there's another reason I wanted to come in here, because there's also... Oh, it's open. Okay, well, that's not anything to worry about. They used... I honestly thought I saw a liquor. Uh, that's probably my imagination. Well, it's kind of good, actually. I'm quite glad about that. More ammo? Lovely. Good. We still need a battery, so there's not much point in me putting this, that thing on C4 anyway, so... Some guy's scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off. All I've done... F after all I've done for them. But if that's how it's going to be, I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I bought all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and get some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it and it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the next guy, kill the guy next to you, and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You're about justice and pride. But how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. Okay, that's psychotic. Now, do we have everything aside for the other emblem is? And this is... yes. Okay, good. <clears throat> what I'm going to do, go do now... Is we will go back down there. And we'll take the other way. <clears throat> Actually... Uh, I'm not really sure. Should we... Should we roll them? Not really... Blah! I can't talk with them, can I? 
Um, actually, you know what? I might end this part here because what I'll do is I'll make my way round and I'll go. I'll get the book. We'll go and get the um the jewel next time, and we'll open that box. And I think, and if what I th remember is inside there, then we will head to the stars room. So I'll see you next time for Mario 2. Till then.